Last practical example we have uh, in this uh, course uh, is about uh, HID host. So how to create a host capable to uh, communicate uh, with various type uh, of the human interface device which may be pretty spread and uh, universal. So uh, what we have inside. Uh, the default uh, shape of the uh, STM32 USB library for the HID host is uh, capable to communicate uh, with the keyboard or with the mouse, uh, more uh, complex devices like uh, some gamepad and so on, which are demanding the driver, for example, also uh, for PC, uh, are not uh, capable to fully uh, communicate with STM32 and uh, some modification is needed in the code uh, to be compatible also for this device. But uh, this is more or less logical. Uh, you need uh, the driver also for PC and uh, with the microcontroller where you need to fit into much smaller memory, it needs to be somehow simplified and it's not possible to be uh, compatible with all the devices by default. So, uh, as we already mentioned, the human interface devices are using so-called report descriptor, uh, which is uh, holding the parameters of the device and need to be parsed on host side. Uh, but this parsing is skipped uh, inside uh, our, of our library and uh, only the basic configuration, so-called boat configuration, is expected from the device. So. The parsing is not uh, yet in the libraries, uh, could be added, but uh, such step uh, would uh, demand a lot of memory, both flash and RAM, and uh, then it uh, couldn't fit uh, completely with other application. Otherwise, uh, compared to different class, handling of the HID host uh, is uh, quite easy, it's more or less prepared, and uh, we will demonstrate again using QPMX. So, uh, like for other examples, we will use again F446ZE uh, nuclear board. So almost routine, clock source, OTG full speed as host only, uh, upstairs in middleware find the class, so HID, we will uh, initialize also the LEDs PB0, PB14, and PB7 Additionally for the debug here we will really use it is the UART3 with uh, alternative pins on PD9 and PD8 and as already showed before we need to enable the voltage on the bus, so PG6. So that's all we need for now in the pinout. We move uh, to the clock uh, configuration, 8 MHz input for high speed external, which we use and choose a higher clock. and we may generate a project so hid host uh, true studio and we will increase both heap and stack to fit without any problem We open the project, like before, 
first what we will do is the USB A conf where we will handle the uh, VBUS so PG6 uh, reset and set First one is uh, if, when we want to deactivate, so reset for activation, we need to set the GPIO. So that's here. In the main, again, we have the MX uh, host process, which is triggering uh, the state machine and uh, we will look inside of the libraries what is uh, there so the core and in the hid we have in source the hid itself so again the uh, interface in it uh, which can be uh, then depending on the detected configuration uh, use with the keyboard and various uh, setting of the keyboard or for the mouse and there is very simplified parser which is not the true uh, uh, parser for the hit report descriptor so mm, don't be mistaken here so back to main uh, once we will uh, connect uh, the uh, HID device so either mouse or the keyboard uh, here it's already set in the way that it's uh, fully able to communicate and we need uh, only to read out uh, the devices out, uh, read out the data from the device so uh, for this uh, there is the uh, HID event uh, callback so we can again search for the weak keyword here it is and this one we can use in main to reading out the data we will receive from the mouse and uh, I will use the help of the presentation you may find in the attachment to get also the code. So what, what we will use there. So I add uh, the include for USB hit and uh, create a buffer for the UART. In the mouse uh, type def info, it's uh, about the parsing of the receive message. So uh, x and y uh, direction for the movement and buttons. And uh, I will also copy the code for the complete callback, which is a bit complicated and I will translate and format to see better what is here so uh, in the callback uh, we uh, get our active, uh, uh, active class and from this the data and now we are differentiating if the init uh, if during the init we uh, detected the keyboard we need uh, to parse uh, the data we received as a uh, keyboard data and from that we want to get the SCSI uh, code of the press key and uh, we will put it into our buffer 
and transmit. So we have here information that key was pressed, uh, showing us that it was keyboard and uh, printing out the key code. Uh, if during the initialization we detected a mouse, we need to parse uh, the info for the uh, mouse. And then again, we have here the notification that uh, mouse action was done. Uh, so the buttons and the direction X and Y. And again, send it uh, using the UART. So by that, uh, the device could uh, already work for us, but uh, they are uh, two things uh, we need to change to be uh, to re uh, achieve better compatibility with the device, because uh, our uh, host state machine is asking on uh, some descriptor which are not mandatory from the specification point of view. So some devices are not supporting uh, this descriptor. And uh, in the um, host library, there is uh, no check uh, on the number of repetition. So it will get stuck and ask for the descriptor uh, indefinitely, even it uh, gets stalled as uh, the descriptor is not uh, supported on uh, the device side. So uh, we will uh, skip some part of descriptor. Uh, you have it again uh, highlighted in the uh, presentation in the upcoming versions of the library. Uh, this should be uh, not so strict. So the uh, not mandatory descriptor should not be asked by the device and then it will become more universal again. So here uh, is the request for the set protocol and uh, we don't need uh, him to return us uh, the USB OK. Uh, for us it's enough that the answer won't be USB H uh, busy. That means that uh, this uh, the uh, request for this descriptor uh, completely pass with uh, either uh, stall or uh, Ike, so it uh, was received. But uh, for us, uh, at the end, it's not exactly important to get it. So uh, for us, uh, we need also to only to be sure that uh, the transmission of this request is not still ongoing. And uh, similar, we will do it also with the uh, get report. So get report. And again, here, without uh, getting the report, we couldn't uh, uh, progress. So. Again, we will use only the USB H uh, uh, busy. And now we are ready to, for test. So let's load to the microcontroller. I will also start the analyzer, but in this case, it won't be so crucial for us. Uh, more important for us uh, will be to uh, see the input from the ST-Link utility. So I'm not able to open right now. Okay, now it seems correct. So let's load the code. Right now nothing is connected, so now I'm connecting the mouse. I can see some traffic. And we are receiving action from the mouse. So like that, uh, mouses, uh, keyboard and 
Other stuff uh, can be uh, connected to the STM32. Uh, very popular choice is uh, the barcode readers, which is acting as a keyboard in the end. And uh, for, uh, from my experience, most of the time, uh, it's uh, working without uh, any additional action needed. Uh, so this is also working. Uh, also, what is supported is uh, uh, that uh, the host uh, can go to some low power mode and uh, also the device will be put into a uh, suspended state and wake up from both uh, host or device is supported in this case as usual for example with the PC. Uh, there is no, not a direct example in the repository but uh, can be achieved. Also such example can be provided upon request.